All right, guys, well, I'm going to go over the secrets to being successful in anatomy and studying anatomy and basically getting an A in anatomy. For a lot of students, that's really, really difficult. Um, truth is, it's not really so much a secret as just a technique. Um, it might seem really obvious or even straightforward for some students, but what I find at this level, which is the basic college level, I basically teach at a university at basically the freshman you know, and sophomore level, and I find that a lot of students still really don't know how to study. They're still learning their techniques and not really sure what to do, kind of fumble through classes. And one of the biggest mistakes, and I'm gonna tell you it's the biggest mistake in anatomy, it's the one thing you cannot do in anatomy, I don't care if you've done it in English, or literature, or computers, or whatever class it is, you can't study last minute in anatomy. That's the biggest mistake students make. If you've got a test every week or a test every you know four weeks or whenever it is I don't really care when the test is you know even if it's a quiz every class you cannot study the night before the test it's just the way it is if you want a good grade obviously there's exceptions there's there's one or two percent of students that can do that but I'm telling you right now if you're one of those that's struggling in anatomy you can't do that that's the bottom line the students that do that are gonna usually fail, or at least not get the grade that they need in anatomy. It's just been my experience teaching anatomy for a long, long time. So this is a technique that I'm gonna recommend. Again, different classes uh, run differently. University I'm at, we teach uh, five days a week, uh, an accelerated course, so it's a lot of information. Again, uh, one of the reasons you cannot study the day before the test, but let's say you have a two, uh, you know, class a week type deal or three classes a week type deal. You know, obviously you use the same technique, but the bottom line is this, and it's gonna seem pretty simple, but a lot of students don't know this. And the real secret is, you know, your very first day of class, you walk in, you get a syllabus, kind of get to run down. Uh, I know in my class, we start work. You know, we go over the first uh, chapter, sometimes two. And, you know, let's say that's a Monday Let's say we're doing a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. Hypothetically, you know, what you should be doing right off the bat is reviewing. We'll just say review slash study, which really ultimately is the same thing. You're going to review or study Monday's material that afternoon. So let's say you got a morning or afternoon class. You know, you're going to study later on that same day that material. Now, let's say you can't for some reason, you gotta do it the next day. You got on Tuesday, some way, somehow, you've gotta go over that material. Now, that might mean reading over for 20 minutes. I can promise you, you've got 20 or 30 minutes to read over that material. Somebody can find time to do that in a day. And that's the key thing is, it's fresh. You know, you're engaged and you're in class and you're you know, listening and you're taking notes. When you read over it that same day again, or you know, at the latest, the next day, it's all gonna be fresh, and it is gonna stick. Part of this technique is repetition, okay? So that's what you're gonna do. Then you're gonna come, obviously, back to class. One of the key things, and this is another big mistake with students is, they miss too much class. You gotta be in every class. I've had students come to my class after missing one day and say that when they came back, they felt like they were in a different class, just lost. Can't miss class, okay? Can't study the night before a test, and you can't miss class. I mean, just the way it is. <clears throat> Again, this, this is a technique for doing well in anatomy. So Wednesday, what you're gonna do, uh, obviously sit in class, take good notes. That's part of it. You know, what the teacher's writing on the board, what the teacher's highlighting, what the teacher's going on and on and on about is the stuff you should be focused on and writing. I don't care who the teacher is. They're gonna talk about things that are important, generally speaking. So Wednesday, obviously, you're gonna have a new set of material but what you're gonna do is after the end of that class, maybe that afternoon again, you're going to review Monday and Wednesday's material. So you're gonna start by going back over Mondays fairly quickly again, and it's gonna be quick because this is essentially, you could say the third time now. Once in class, once after Monday's class, and now a third time after Wednesday's class. So you're gonna go over it again and then after reviewing Monday, you're going to review Wednesdays. Then what you're going to do, go back to class again, take good notes. 
and then at the end of your Friday class, it might be really, really hard to do, but you're gonna review again, and guess what? You get the point, you're gonna review Monday, Wednesdays, and Friday's material. So, you're gonna have reviewed Mondays by this time, literally like four times, Wednesdays, like literally two to three times, and then Friday's gonna be, uh, at this point, once. So then what you're gonna do over the weekend is maybe do a quick, quick review again of the material. Um, if you don't have a test, obviously, the following Monday, then you could probably take the weekend off. But what you're gonna do when it rolls around, you know, second week, yes, this is gonna be, this is gonna seem very repetitive and very, very redundant, but on Monday after class, you're gonna study the first Monday's material, right? First Wednesday's material, first Friday's material, and then go on to the second, this is the second Monday, the second Monday's material. You're gonna go over it that way. Assuming you maybe have a test, let's say in two weeks or three weeks or four weeks or whatever, that's the way you're doing it. The bottom line is this, you're reviewing this material over and over and over again. You're gonna say, well, that's gonna take me forever. The crazy thing is it's not gonna take you forever. Why? You've been over Monday's material so much. You're gonna read over it. Maybe, maybe uh, you highlight some things or write some things, but it's not gonna take you long. Even 100 slides will not take you long. And that sounds crazy, but it's because you've looked at it so much. So this is gonna be a quick review. Then you can spend a little bit more time on the new material but you're reviewing basically every single class. That's the secret because this repetition is gonna force you to remember it. You'll get to a point where you know the notes inside now. You'll know like the next slide that's coming on the page. And again, that's where you need to get. Now, that doesn't necessarily work for everybody. Maybe, maybe if you're a note card person, which I'm not, if you're a note card person, maybe you make note cards for Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and you review those note cards. Or maybe you rewrite your notes. The bottom line is this, you gotta do what works. I can promise you repetition for most people works. What you don't wanna do is you don't wanna do something that doesn't work. You say, well, how do I know if it works or not? Well, one way you're gonna know it works is you're gonna retain the info when you're studying efficiently. So if you're you know, writing note cards and saying note cards and you just feel like you've gotten to the second week and you don't remember any of this, then you're probably not studying very well. You know, if you do poorly on, you know, your first test, then the way you studied was obviously not effective. You know, no cards never worked for me. Rewriting the notes never worked for me, but it might work for somebody else. But you still use the same method whether you rewrite notes or just read notes or do note cards. Bottom line is it's repetition, and that goes the same for bones, you know, for studying muscles, whatever it may be. It's got to be repetitious, okay? Be sure to watch my other videos dealing with the anatomy, uh, the bones, the muscles. We're going to have new stuff coming out uh, every week. Thank you all. If you have any questions, you can.